Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the Maypole Farm. We are here, of course, Farm Sim 22, and... Well, what a morning it's been. I actually just finished recording a 45-minute uh, or so episode here on the farm. And ended it by changing the day over to the 2nd of November. However, for some weird reason... OBS, I guess, crashed five minutes after I started recording that episode. And so, when I went to uh, click it off at the end, it actually started up. Which, again, is not something I can tell. I'm currently only running a single monitor. Otherwise, I would run OBS on the other one. Like, just leave the display open to see that it's... But, uh, so yeah, I went to uh, render up the video open the file only to find two separate video files one about five minutes and 42 seconds long and one about 38 seconds long <laughs> yes I'm afraid neither of them were the 45 minute video I'd recorded it was the beginning and then the part after I ended so yeah not good but it is as I say a new day it is the 2nd of November so we're just going to take care of some usual morning business. Uh, what did you miss? I blew straw into the barn. Um, and that was something missed because I had the weird thing happen. I used my uh, little Lambo tractor there, as I do for most of the stuff here. The little white dude. And got the forks on him, picked up a couple of straw bales, went to... Uh, drop them into the straw blower and the first one went in fine the second one went in fine but then when I pulled the tractor away I noticed the second one I put in was coming with it even though it was separated from the forks by a good 10 feet well there was such a strong attachment for some reason between the forks and the bale that I pulled the tractor. Oh, that's not good. Pulled the tractor as far away as I could. Um, I couldn't even turn it. It would actually physically pull the tractor to the side if I tried to turn. But I backed as far away from it as I could, and then, well, uh, well, this isn't working. I tried taking it back out and loading it a number of places like sail point where it should have just simply sucked it up um, took it directly into the barn none of those things worked um, what I finally did um, oh it, it was funny because let's say the trailer with the bale was here well I pulled my tractor way over to like here right the bale's still sitting in the thing right the forks get the, the tractor is pulled over if i try and turn away it does this instead of turning right it just strafes because the forks are continuously pointing at the bale so that oh well i released the forks i kid you not they jumped all the way to here to where they were parallel with the bale all by themselves leapt 30 feet from the tractor so yeah uh, at that point I actually went and physically poked the bale with the forks managed to scoop it up out of the trailer and then I reset the forks and when I did the bale was laying on the ground and the forks were uh, well reset but yeah that was the only way i could not get those two items to uh, separate for the life of me but at least it is uh, it is taken care of now but like i say unfortunately because obs decided to be weird i didn't get to record any of it and i do apologize I'm, uh, something I noticed last night was that uh, 
I think I'm gonna have to replace the AIO in my computer here pretty soon. I use a uh, 240 millimeter Cooler Master AIO. Thing is, I've been using it every day, six, eight, ten hours a day for I don't know four years, probably five years. And I don't think it's cooling as well as it should have. With the uh, warmer ambient temperatures, I'm noticing that my uh, package tents, temps hit over uh, the 100, well, no, my graphics card hit over the 100C mark. Uh, the package temps were hitting about 80 plus, which is way warmer than they normally run. I mean, you know, if we're talking a 10 degree difference in normal ambient temperature to current ambient temperatures being 30 instead of 20 um, I should have seen peaks in this low 70s but no it was in fact almost 90 at 1.89.8 or something so I think when I do replace that um, it's just wearing out I think you know and I think that many years service constant service proves the quality of the item you know i don't have any complaint that it might be finally starting to fail but i think when i do that i'm going to uh, try and get a second monitor up and running um yeah and i'll just leave obs up and running on that one so that i can see if it suddenly decides it doesn't want to do this anymore you know yeah not good so, I have also, but I did, did manage, as you can see, we've got uh, lots of straw in there now. Everything else is pretty much under control. I even brought a big trailer of food and dumped that in. So that should be good. Uh, out here, ah, here we are. We're starting to mix it up a bit, right? We've got bread. Along with our cakes, so cool. Let's put them over here. Nice. That'll give it a couple of spaces it can fill back in. Uh, and how are we doing out here? Ooh, look at this. Nice. Very nice. I also took and dumped a bunch of oats in here because we were out of wheat. So I decided we might as well go with oat flour. Alright. Doing well. I checked on all the animals. They should all be doing peachy. Ooh. The one thing I haven't checked since I shifted the day was our stack of honey. Let's see if we've got a full six in there now. Because it was getting close. It was getting close. Ooh, looks like it. Yeah, I think we do. Okay. Not sure when the best... Uh, best time will be. Again, the ground is so crooked on this map. I had issues with that too, trying to pick up um, some of the pallets of stuff there. The bottom, like the, to get the fork down so it would go inside the pallet. Yeah, there was enough bumpy, distortion-y stuff in the ground that several times I got the pallet fork stuck in the ground. So. It 
that's not really what you want. But I'm also thinking we're probably getting pretty close to... Uh, moving on anyway to a different farm. I think we've uh, pretty much mastered this one. I mean, we could buy a whole bunch more fields or whatever, but... Beyond that, there's not too much we haven't done yet. <clears throat> well, there is one thing I haven't done. And I'm kind of putting it off. Uh, it's also the reason why it's now the 2nd of November, no longer the 1st. We didn't run out a day. Um... I wanted to see if I could finally get the weeds in our <laughs> one field to come up to the point where I could use our sprayer on them instead of trying to drag the weeder around. I mean, I got nothing against using the weeder. It's just I have a real difficult time sometimes seeing where it's been and where it needs to go. So, and I prefer not to do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. There you go. And the last one. Then we're going to go down and see how that's going. I'm hoping OBS is staying steady. I went through and checked and there was an update available. But I mean, there has been for a while. And I look at the updates and if it doesn't look like anything that's really going to affect me. You know, I don't... I'm not always in a rush to immediately install it. So... I have updated to the latest, and hopefully that's going to keep it steadier. I mean, I realize it's open source software, it changes all the time, etc, etc, so... You know, if there's a little bit of instability in one build or another, I guess it's something we have to deal with for having such an awesome free tool for us to use. Alright, here we go. Nope. Alright. Oh, it still says it wants a hoe. Alright, well, I'm gonna try it anyway. Because, you know, I was never really very good at listening. So. And boom. Okay, it's working. As you can see, it's going bit, 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 and spitting out uh, poison on each weed, and they are turning brown. So I'm going to assume. that it is in fact doing what it should do. Yeah, you can see them individually pulsing where there's not that much going on. Perfect. Yeah, I think this is working fine. I think this is going to work just fine. So yeah, we're supposed to hit the... Uh, low 30s again today. And yeah, I realize uh, compared to a lot of places that doesn't seem like much. But I guess one of the big differences it's, um, you know, imagine it being the middle of winter and you live in a place where it pretty much never snows. You know, temperatures might dip into the, you know, 
low 50s or something during the middle of winter, but other than that, not bad. Now, let's say you had a winter where for weeks on end, it was well below zero and snowing its butt off. Now, the rest of the country might be in that shape and going, oh well, it's winter. But you are going to be far more harshly affected, not because you're not used to it, because none of the infrastructure is set up to work that way. You know what I mean? Like, places that are generally really hot in the summer, you won't find a lot of things painted dark, for instance, right? You know, they will try and paint things reflectively white, if possible. Um, you know, use concrete in parking lots as opposed to asphalt. Um, you know, because asphalt absorbs heat and will literally burn the skin right off your flesh if you give it a chance. Uh, concrete, sure, it absorbs heat because it's a big solid mass, but it never reaches the temperature of asphalt. You know, and, I mean, asphalt gets so hot it actually starts to melt. I've seen it. I've stepped in it. <laughs> but, uh... You know, and that's just one example. You know, we have, as do most of the larger buildings in this town, have what's called tar and gravel roof. Right? Well, that means we've got black tar paper with a bit of gravel over it. And I do mean a bit. Like, we're not talking a foot thick. We're talking, you know, enough to basically cover it. So it absorbs heat like crazy. You know, it, it's just things like that. So when it hits what might be reasonably normal summer temperatures in a lot of places, it's considerably harder to deal with in places where it's not. You know, it's like we never used to get more than a day or two of snow in the winter. You know, our snow removal fleet here in this town. Well, calling it a fleet is probably the most generous thing you could call it. You know what I mean? So when we do end up where for weeks on end we have snow, yeah, there's roads that don't get done for days. Not because a municipality is lazy, just simply that, you know, if you start at point A and you can't make it to point B before point A is a mess again, well, it's just never going to stop, is it? So. There you go. Our little mid-30s temperatures do tend to cause havoc around here. So, whereas, you know, if I was living in, say, Queensland, um, I'd be going, it's, it's pretty cool today. Yeah, not here. Not here. All right. That is a field that has been a weighing upon me for a while. I'm glad that's done. Because I've been waiting since it first appeared with the weed thing on it. For it to get down to a point where I could just uh, roll on in here. Okay, let's shift to the other end of the device. Because we're going to want to lower it down. There we go. Then we won't break off any important bits on the uh, overhang of the roof. There you go. its own little stand, eh? Ooh, fancy. Alright, no. I don't believe any of our other fields, well, to be honest, have anything we can do. I believe we have pretty much put ourselves out of the farming business for the moment. 
for the moment. It's not like there isn't things to do. One of those being, although it is likely cool enough, um, oh, stop. Every time I want to look something up, you come on there and do that. Um, ah, right, here we go. 16. Wow. 16 Celsius on November 2nd? Gonna hit 22 by noon? It's November. Yeah, peak of 25. Holy smokes. Where is this supposed to be located? I assumed from all the hedgerows that this was, you know, a, a UK farm. But... Well, I have a feeling, just a feeling, and my UK viewers can, you know, chime in on this if they care to, but can you name a spot in the UK where it tends to be 25C in November? Because, uh, just from the people and stuff I've dealt with there, I would say probably not, you know? Uh, let's do the strawberries first. Because generally I tend to think that the UK weather is really, really quite similar to what I get here. Um, I know when my mom was alive, she's from, uh, she was from uh, Germany, and she used to mention quite often when we were living back east that uh, she found the weather in Berlin, the last place she lived in Germany, to be very, very similar to the Canadian weather that she was experiencing now. Now that's Germany, it's not the UK, but, uh, you know. I think they would have found it rather odd as well for it to be in the mid-twenties in November. That's just, yeah, that's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, for those of you that are uh, rather imperial about your measure, shall we say. Yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's a nice summer day. It's not a nice November day. Well, I mean, it probably is. It could be raining in two degrees Celsius. That wouldn't be a nice November day. Um, yeah, I mean, even a sunny day, like up to five, seven, something like that. Certainly not. what they're calling for here. Really? I did that bad a job? Why are you so crooked? Hey. There you go. I'll put these on top if that thing's that far off, you know? Up, 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 up. is still running. There's absolutely no indicator, you know. That's the one thing I do miss about my, uh, the old software I used to run, was the fact that it did put an FPS up, and that would change color when you were actually recording or not, right? If it was red, you were recording. If it turned green, you weren't. Easy peasy. I mean, you could turn it off if you didn't want to be looking at it. It was always an option. 
but it was there when you needed it. And there were quite a few times when I would notice, oh, well, that's not right. You know, some game I'd never tried recording before, only to find out that either my software wouldn't record it, which is one of the reasons I stopped using it. I was running into a couple of games where it would just, no, sorry. Um, the other reason I switched is because I have Game Pass. And the reason I switched because of that is because Microsoft, if you're using uh, their games, tend to look at most recording software as something that shouldn't be running while their software is running. And like Forza Horizon 4 will not record on either of my Steam-based recording solutions. Um, it runs fine. As soon as you turn record on, it shuts off. No error, no blue screen, no anything. It just shuts the game off. OBS records it just fine. Right, so that was another reason I switched, was I found all Minecraft games, or Minecraft, all, uh, well, Minecraft is a Microsoft game now, so I guess, but yeah, basically none of them would work, that uh, was probably a little more impact than was really required. Whoop, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Yikes. Um, hmm. There we go. Okay. Full clear. There you go. Sheesh. Another disaster averted. Alright, so honey is getting to be a bit of a pile on, isn't it? Like, there's a lot. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it keeps forever, but I don't want to have entire sheds full of it. Really? In particular, we are actually getting a fair bit of tomato together as well. But I think tomatoes are not until January that they start to really show their value. So we're going to have to try and uh, store them up for another little bit. Not that the tomatoes would keep well in, you know, 80 degree heat of November. Good God. Like seriously, why is it so warm? I definitely got to uh, look into honey. When does honey do itself a favor here? Um, honey, 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 there you are. And show fluctuations November, December, January. It peaks in February. So, I mean, it's not doing bad. It's about at the halfway point right now. So. Yeah, I don't know what these increments are supposed to represent. You know, with 1600 being here, the lowest, and 20 being the highest. Doesn't tell me a lot about this one. <laughs> okay. But apparently it's going to be a day or two. Good to know. You. Awesome. Lots of eggs as well, but at least we have a use for those. There we are. 
pull that bottom one out of here so it doesn't keep doing that. All right. Little bit of wool. How's everybody else doing out here? In the wilds of sheep country. Nice. Uh, you don't have a lot of food, do you? No. We should probably do something about that. I know the cows are good, because I did that during our uh, apparently unrecordable episode. Oh, that meal's gone. Good, good, good. So, uh... Assuming it'll hold grass. Personally, I don't know why there's a, such a distinction with some trailers as to what they will or will not hold. I mean, to me, they just look like a big box. And as far as I know, you can stick anything from, you know, furniture to your cat in a box. So, hey, no grass. Oh, really? That's all we have? Oh. Oh. Well, I have no idea. And we have no hay. Hmm. Alright, well. Um, that's gonna take a bit of, uh, a bit of work. Really? Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh. Stupid little toy pens, anyway. Oh, well, I guess as long as the trailer fits. Really? I've got to stuff it in there that far? Are you telling me I can't dump it back there once I've... Well, I guess, because it's supposed to take bales and grind them, so... Ah, pain in the butt. 
Now the only tipping options on this trailer are back or green door. It won't do left or right. So what? Is this thing full? Really? Grass is not accepted. I think it is. Yeah, that's the problem. It's just full. Um, so you no doubt have got yep you got the rear weight on i'm not gonna bother going through that crapapalooza at the moment we'll just grab this guy uh, grab the small trailer Okay. Uh, no, I certainly don't want the grass. Although, I might be able to actually unload it in this smaller trailer. Let's try that. Okay. Really? <laughs> You're not going to give me a tip? Check something here. Um, maybe if we shift that around to the proper side. Left. There we go. Can you give me a tip now? Yes. Really? There we go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 
Not that that's really going to be enough to make any kind of a difference. But... Let's go tip it anyway. Oh, come on. Yeah. This one works. Let me guess, pallet fork? Of course. Why would you? Possibly have the right piece of paper. not full, I'm pretty sure. Three thousand. Well, maybe it is. Hmm. Maybe a bit off a bit of... Uh, Because it wasn't, it was down at like a one, one thousand something. All right, well, at least it's done. Oh, 
also does pay. What you're doing? Running around wondering where your breakfast is? Huh? You want some breakfast? What do you think? He's a boy, yeah, he's a good boy. Let's go get you some breakfast. There we go. And with that, guys, I'm not sure how long we've been on, but I am rather, uh, like I say, concerned that this may not be recording at all. So I'm going to call the episode here. I do thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Hope you hit that like button. Take care of each other. And ciao for now.